All right, I am showing two characters interacting in my assets folder, and I'm doing it with the tongue. And so first, I'm going to have these two together. And then I want to have this one with another tongue. And I'm going to curl it a lot more using Puppet Warp. Always make a duplicate, Command J, then Puppet Warp then anchor it where you need it to stay. I'm going to move it under the bug. Rather over the bug. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so now this is the, the part where you show the integration. Because it doesn't make sense to have two layers in an asset when those are always going to be together. So I need to merge those together, right? So I want to make sure I have all my steps before I do that. So when the bug gets to this part in one cycle, my tongue is going to get to this part, not that part. There it is, that part in the other cycle, right? And so at that point, I can replace the bug Oh, it's, there we go, let's turn it off here. So at that point, I can replace this bug and merge it in with the others. So I'll just do a slight little movement there. And maybe using the bend and stretch kind of form of, of um, exaggerating animated movements, I'm going to throw his body back a little bit and throw his antenna back a little bit, and maybe even his whole head. OK, so these that tongue and this bug are going to get merged together. So I'm going to make them the same color for now, just so I remember that. And then it's going to go to this bug. So you see my bug moves from there to there. And this tongue. And I want my tongue now in front of the bug, so it's like wrapping around it. And those are going to go together. So I'll mark those as the same color. Let's choose a different color. OK. Now I'm going to hit Command-J to duplicate both of them, give it a new color. And now I'm going to change them both. Right. So I'm going to take the bug, transform it, shrink it a little bit more, and then puppet warp it. So it can fit into his mouth. And then take that tongue copy and puppet warp it. to really kind of coil it back like so. I might move the bug even a little bit closer. There we go. And the tongue maybe just a little bit closer. Good. And now we can merge them. So if I merge these two, I hold down Shift, I hit Command E. These two, hold down Shift, Command E. These two, hold down Shift, get both of them, Command E. So now I've got a full tongue cycle. So let's check it out. 
So this is what I'm going to animate, and this is what I'll run the test on. Starts like this, then goes to this, then goes to this, then goes to this, then goes to this, and all of a sudden has a bug in it, and this, and this, and then back to the beginning. So if I run it fast enough, it should feel like it flicks out its tongue and grabs the, the bug. Not so fast you can't see it, but fast enough that it feels, you know, compelling. All right. So I'm going to take this whole tongue group, copy it. It's a good time to save my assets. And then while I'm saving my assets, I go to my stage file, and I'm going to go underneath my first two bug movements and paste that tongue group in. All right. Now this is going to look a little weird because it's going to be a disembodied tongue. You see it? So what do I need to do? I need to turn on my character. And it's the character that's up. And I can move the whole tongue group down below that character. right? And now I need to put that tongue in the character's mouth. like psychosurgery. And then I want to make sure I'm linking it with where my space bug is going to be. Very good. Yeah, this will work. All right. So Actually, let's see. Yeah, I actually don't need this last space bug moment. Okay. So now I'm going to run a little animation test. It's not much. And you'll see how it works. So let me save my stage at this point. I've got my characters. I've got my actions. I've got my set. So how do we do it? We go to Window. We go to Timeline. And we're doing a frame-by-frame frame animation. We have it set to do forever, viewing the frames over and over again. And the timing of the frames, I'm doing other, and I'm doing 0.3 seconds. OK, my first frame, there, there's a way that you can do this, which is kind of faster sometimes, but it can be really confusing if you don't really understand your assets and your stage. And that is instead of making each frame as I go, which takes a long time, I can go to um, the window options for the timeline and say make frames from layers. This is why you don't want to do it with your assets. You want to do it with your stage because everything's in the right place. Everything's on a cycle. Everything's kind of organized. Okay, so if I make frames from layers, then I can combine those layers. So these are a lot of different things, right? So in this first one, the first frame, I'm just going to turn on all of the, the middle grounds, and you'll see that that turns them on for all the frames that come next. And I'm basically going to turn on everything. Okay, there we go. But I need to change my character's position, right? Let's see, what am I looking for? There we go. All right. So, changing my character's position there. This is all set. And my first frame, I haven't added in atmosphere yet. I can do that later. Now, my next frame. Let this set this up for 0.3 seconds. You're just programming these eyeballs. So what am I missing here? Oh, the far background. So I know for all of these, I need to turn on the far background. So I can program all of those frames all at once and just turn the far background on for all of them. So I have this frame, then this frame. And in this frame, I'm going to add in the bug movement one. This is the bug coming in from the foreground. And then 
bug movement two for the next one. And then bug movement three for the next one. And so on and so on. And then maybe a frame without any bug. And then I go to eight. And then I get the next set of bug movements. That one, this one, this one, this one. See how the tongue's starting to come out? Oh, I missed one. So once it gets there, then my tongue is there, but I need to change where my character is coming. So at this point, I need my character to be up. And I haven't animated my character going up yet. So I just have to turn it on there and off there for each one. <laughs> and I'm just programming those eyeballs. Ah, what am I doing? Then I need my tongue. So what's nice is you can see each frame as you go. And then this one, I actually don't want the tongue. I want the mouth closed, but I haven't gotten there yet. So I'm going to run a quick animation test right, up to this point, and then I don't need the rest of these frames. So I'm just going to drag them to the trash. You can select multiple trains by holding down Shift, and then you can drag them to the trash. And then I'm going to play it through. And I get to see that test of the bug moving and then of the tongue. And now I see, OK, him popping up is actually pretty good. I don't know if I need an in-between frame of him popping up, but the, the tongue going out is too slow. Do you guys agree? So what can I do about that? Well, it's pretty simple. What I can do about that, and this is unique to digital animation, is I can take those frames that I feel are too slow and just speed them up. From here to here, right? I can just take this frame out. So it goes from here to here. And then from here to here, I could just try taking this frame out. Or I could try just speeding it up. So instead of 0.3 seconds, I could try 0.1 second there. And 0.1 second there. So let's see what that looks like. So I still get all those movements, but now it's a lot cleaner. What do you guys think? Now, if I go to my storyboard, what have I done? Well, I've gotten right to here. The bug gets eaten, right? But what happens next? Well, this guy's, I have starting to go down when this guy comes up, right? And then this guy eats the other guy and then goes down. So instead of having him jump right back down, now I think, OK, I need to build new assets. So after this point, what happens? Well, he's going to eat the bug. Maybe I'll show him chewing the bug a little bit, show him enjoying it while this guy is slowly coming up. right? And so I need to build those assets. So as frustrating as that can be, I know that all this works up until the middle of my storyboard. So I need to take all of these frames I just animated 
and it only took me about two minutes. And I need to drag them to the traps because 